the USS Exeter is visiting planet Wolf 1061C where the inhabitants have developed hydroponics and growing crops in soil to a fine art. Although the gravity is a little heavy for our taste, the crew wasted no time embarking on adventures to the planet's surface. Ambassador Heather Bart, along with our Vulcan science officer Dwight Horns are discussing the planet's agricultural basis, as well as a beneficial trade deal. Premier Fane, the Federation is ready to close the deal on your offer to provide hydroponically grown food to the colonies we discussed. I would like to speak with your production team and learn about your methods, as they are advanced. Please, just call me Mary. We can be informal here. Just enjoy the tour here in this sample greenhouse. These Korans have done an amazing job transforming this planet. It used to be so cold and barren. I could stay here for a long time. I just wish we could stay. Hey look at that. There are some animals coming around. Everyone is on board. Their ambassador Patty Jenkins is on board with an aide. Very well. Navigator, set course for Starbase 25. Helm, ahead warp 4. Leave orbit when ready. Ambassador Bart, how much is left for the trade agreement? Just a few technical details. We are both agreed that the papers will be ready by the time we reach the base for the signing ceremony. Excellent. I like missions like this sometimes. Even excitement can get monotonous after a time. See to it that our guests are shown Starfleet hospitality and a tour of the ship. Thank you Captain. We look forward to a long, fruitful relationship. Battle stations, damage report what just happened. A small ship. This was on us before we saw it. We took a minor phaser hit. How do you sneak up on a starship? I think they were modulating the shields in a way that fooled our sensors. I can still read them barely. Pursue and overtake. Go to flank speed if you have to. Status report. Damage report. 
Check for the ship. No damage reported, Captain. Unable to contact Starfleet. All subspace channels are quiet. Navigator position report. Helm all stop. This is making no sense. We are in the outer edges of the soul system. Com officer, call the Earth. Send out a distress signal. No signals captain, not even radio. I don't know if they are receiving signals but we are not. Warp 1 to Earth. Standard orbit. Continue scanning for signals. Continue scanning area. Look at that. The Quran fleet is headed for a primitive planet called Earth. I'll tell the Admiral. I hope he won't want us to fight them. I am assuming that you are going to tell me there is a problem. Yes Admiral the Karens are headed toward a primitive planet. They have a substantial force headed there. It is called Earth. Little of any real value. What is the dominant life form? Do they have defenses? No Admiral. They are a primitive warrior race with no ability to defend themselves. They are not worth it Admiral. Admiral Wayne's light carrier fleet is moving to intercept. That man is an aggressive fool. We can't let him down. Admiral. Orders from fleet headquarters. Assist Admiral Wayne in defending the planet Earth. Send a message to all ships. Admiral Wayne's fleet of light carriers is engaging a fleet of Corin destroyers and fighters. We have been ordered to assist him. Our new cruisers are substantially superior to their fleet. All ships, set a state of fleet opposed invasion at the Earth. I want to know what just happened, and I won't take I don't know for an answer. Captain, the constellations are all out of place. It means that we have moved through time. Which way navigator? Did we go forward or backward? It is logical to assume that the ship has been brought into the past for an undisclosed purpose. Computer. Using our current position, and constellation drift. Calculate the time period as accurately as possible. The ship appears to have traveled back in time to the year 1561 AD, approximately April 11. Engineer, status report. I want every ship's system gone over with a fine-toothed comb. That is an illogical statement, Captain. A comb would not be useful in diagnosing the ship's systems. As for you, I want every inch of the Earth studied. I want to know if there is anything out of the ordinary. Also scan the solar system. There is an answer here somewhere. I want answers. Dismissed. May I enter? We have completed our studies. The ship is fully operational. We have verified the date. There appears to be nothing out of the ordinary. Feudalism was common in the Orient. Religious differences led to considerable strife in Europe. There was little of interest. Disease, primitive conditions, and warfare were the normal. Okay, Lieutenant. Form a landing party. I want to spot check a few areas. Include two officers and historian Horace Landover. After that, I want you to do an in depth computer study of this historical period. Maybe we can find something out.
Hans what are you doing? You have been staring at the sky for an hour. I know. There is something up there. It is brighter than a star. It also does not move like a star. It travels more quickly across the sky. I could not sleep, I have a case of the jitters. Come back up to bed. Maybe I can calm you down. I just have this feeling that something is about to happen. Something incredible. Hans Glazer, maybe something will happen if you get back inside. Out in town you are a hotshot reporter, but you are much more important to me. You are my husband. Touch as little as possible. We have to avoid disturbing the timeline. I am glad they gave us thermal heaters. It is cold out here. What country is this called? It was known as Japan. At the time, a broken area of warlords controlling different territories. Look up ahead. Who or what is that? In the clearing. It's an ancient samurai warrior. They are the soldier class. He must not see us. What is here? Who is here? Indians. That's right. We are in what would become New York State. It was the territory of the Iroquois Confederacy. War was a scourge here as well. There are no European settlers here yet. I hear something. It sounds large. was that? It was not anything in our database. I am glad I did not have to use my face. The people back in the earlier centuries had some conspiracies that they loved to talk about and investigate. There were several like this creature, about large hominids. I have read about it. They were associated with all sorts of different things like time travel, UFO sightings, the Bermuda Triangle and more. Eventually mass sightings over cities caused so much public angst that the authorities were forced to admit to alien contact. I wonder if I am needed here. You seem to know a lot. There is something about this. I think I have an idea. Computer. Display any significant events on old Earth for today's date and going forward seven days. Mass sighting of unidentified flying objects occurred around daybreak over the city of Nuremberg, Germany on the morning of the 14th of April, 1561. I think this is what we have been looking for, Captain. Request permission to go. Permission granted. Keep a low profile. Greetings Starfleet visitors. I am at a loss to understand why you are here. Lawrence Green from the Vulcan Science Council. It seems we have a mutual interest.